The undisputed tech king of Melbourne is a man named Russell and Kogan, <laughs> the founder and CEO of Kogan.com, an online retailer that has changed the way Australians shop. We do about three times more revenue per employee than Amazon. He's a rich, flamboyant, controversial workaholic who finds an escape now and again at the Melbourne Pier. All right, let's go catch some snapper. OK. <laughs> You must have been around like eight years old when you moved here from, from Belarus or? Six years old. Communism's falling apart. Uh, my parents decided to leave, which I'm so thankful for, and came here with $90 in their pockets. Kogan grew up in Melbourne's housing projects and showed an entrepreneur's spirit right from the start. As a kid, he ran a golf ball cleaning business a car wash, and then a tech consulting operation. By the time he was 23, Kogan had become consumed with another quest, man's eternal hunt for an affordable flat screen TV. I thought, you know, I can't afford it from the shops, but let me email some factories. And I thought I'd tell them that I want to order 100,000 TVs and they'll get back to me, and then I'll ask for a sample, and that sample was going to be my TV. <laughs> but when they started replying with all of their quotes, I saw very quickly that there's a brilliant market opportunity here. The big idea Kogan hit on was to go direct to Chinese manufacturers to buy TVs for a fraction of the going price. To get the first batch of TVs, Kogan maxed out a few credit cards and had to borrow money from his friends. You're on this lark to just get a cheap TV and it turns into a business idea. Yeah. <laughs> Australians had been slow to hop online and local retailers had largely ignored the web. Kogan dragged the entire country online and helped ignite an internet retail boom. Today, Kogan sells about $250 million of products per year, and Russellin wants to expand the brand overseas and make Kogan a household name. Should we check if we still have bait? Let's have a look. Yeah, not a single bite. <laughs> what do you think? Should we keep trying or should we drink beer? Thanks, mate. Yeah. People keep telling me they feel like Australia was a little bit late to the tech business, but now it's turning this corner. You're kind of famous for being outspoken and telling the truth on things. You know, I can't tell if I'm getting spun or, or if there really is kind of a corner being turned. Look, we went through a time in Australia where our business leaders and politicians were talking about how bad online retail is because it's going to it's going to cost a lot of jobs in the retail industry. I'm surprised they've already stopped talking about how bad cars are because everybody who used to make horse carriages has gone out of business. And luckily, we're at a point now where they're starting to realise that innovation is the future. There's only a certain amount of stuff you can dig out of the ground. Our brain power and our ideas are an unlimited resource. And if you can harness that one, then you're going to be a very rich nation. 